In this video, I am going to reverse my linked list with different kind of approaches. In each approach implementation, I am going to implement step by step with animated explanation. As well as, I am going to tell you the time complexity, space complexity, as well as pros and cons for that implementation. So, let's dive into the concept. Hi, welcome back. In this video, I am going to add one more feature in my linked list data structure. Suppose if you are in watch my linked list data structure video, I suggest to watch my video first. And if you are new to my channel, please considering to subscribe my channel for getting more videos on data structures and algorithms. This is what the initial data I have in my linked list 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I am going to reverse my linked list so the final result will be 4, 3, 2, 1. I am going to reverse my linked list with two kind of approaches. The first approach will be I am going to reverse my linked list with the help of array list. The basic idea of this approach will be I am going to iterate my linked list. In each iteration, I am going to add the current node into my array list. Once the loop get exit, I am going to reverse my array list. In this iteration, I will make current node next will be the previous one nothing but fourth index next will be third one third one next in third index next will be second one likewise it goes on once the loop get exit i will make the size minus one index node will be the head okay i am going to segregate this approach into three part first part i am going to iterate my linked list and add add the data into my array list next I will iterate my array list in a reverse direction. I will make a uh, mapping. Finally, I will assign the size minus one index node will be my head. The first approach, first step, I have to create my ar own array list for storing the node. List dot node of list of node list equal to new array list. Next, I have to iterate my linked list. So I need a pointer called as current node current equal to head. The basic logic will be while my current node is not equal to null it will enter into the loop the first step you have to add this current node into your array list list dot add of current next you have to move your current node into the next pointer current equal to current dot next likewise the loop iteration goes on in first iteration one then two then three then four Fine. In that time, your current is null, so the loop will get exit. In that time, your list having all the data. Anyhow, let me check our implementation with the help of sysout statement. System dot out dot print ln list. Let's check. Okay, fine. I forgot to call this method, so I have to call this method in main method. So ls dot reverse. Yeah, now it's okay. Let's check again. Yeah our list having all the datas. Now you have to reverse your array list. For that purpose, you need to know your size of your list. Integer size equal to list dot size of. Now you have to iterate your list in a reverse direction. So it should starts from size minus one index and ends to zeroth index. Okay, integer i equal to size minus one and the condition will be it should be greater than 0 and it will be the reverse direction so i minus minus here what you have to do you have to make the current index next will be the previous one nothing but list of list dot get of i next will be list of get of i minus 1 index next what you have to do you have to make your previous index next should be null Nothing but list of get of i minus 1 index next should be null. Dot next should be null. This is what the logic. So in each iteration, the mapping will be point to the previous one. Once the loop get the exit, what you have to do? You have to make size minus 1 index node will be the head. List dot head equal to list dot get of size minus 1. Fine. 
let's check our implementation so the desired result will be 4 3 2 1 anyhow let me check yeah the same result which we expected fine let let me explain this implementation time complexity as well as space complexity initially i'll iterate my linked list with o of n times again i'll make a mapping with a with o of n times so the final time complexity will be o of 2n here i have used one array list to reverse my linked list so the space complexity will be o of n in next approach what i am going to do i am going to reverse my linked list with the help of two pointer without using extra memory space okay so first i have to comment this implementation so let let me comment this implementation and i'll name it as approach 1 so let let me create the next method signature will be public void reverse here i'm going to reverse my link list with the help of two pointer so the two pointer called as previous and next so i have to create these pointers node previous equal to null and node next equal to null okay next i have to iterate my uh, linked list so i need a pointer called current current should be point to my head head right so ca node current equal to head now i have to iterate my linked list so as a basic concept while my current node is not equal to null it will enter into the loop here what you have to do the first step you have to move your next pointer to the current dot next so next equal to current dot next next you have to make your current next should be previous current dot next should be previous so you have to assign current dot next equal to previous then you have to move your previous pointer to the current pointer so you have to assign previous equal to current finally you have to move the next pointer so current equal to next nothing but you have to assign current e equal to next likewise the iteration will go on in each iteration current will point to the previous okay in next iteration 2 will point 1 now previous move to the 2 then 3 will point 2 and previous will move to 3 in this time 4 will point 3 then current move to next and previous move to current right so previous equal to 4 and your current is null obviously the loop will get exit in that time what you have to do you have to make your previous pointer as a head so this dot head equal to previous that's it let's check our implementation okay there is a typo it should be in reverse so i have to copy here and paste it here okay fine fine everything is fine let's check yeah the same result which we get previously right in this implementation time complexity will be here we'll iterate our linked list with o of n time alone so the time complexity will be o of n and there is no extra memory space so the space complexity will be o of 1 personally I prefer this implementation since the time complexity as well as space complexity will be much better compared to the previous one. Still, there are more approaches to reverse your linked list. Suppose if you want any specific implementation to reverse your linked list, please ask me in the comment section below. And if you are facing any issues or if you are not getting the clear not get a clear concept, please ask me in the comment section below. See you with another good step. Until then, it's Manikandan signing off. Have a happy coding.